guys welcome back to the channel welcome if you're new here my name is Tiffany I live and travel full-time in my van I call freedom we've traveled all over the US Canada and Mexico I've been a solo traveler for over eight years it doesn't seem like it's been that long but I guess it's true when you're having fun time flies I love my adventures life and I love sharing my journey with you guys this is a sponsored video, so I would like to thank Morris for sending me this cute little portable dryer that looks like a spaceship. Thank you so much, Morris. If you follow my channel long enough, you know that I do not use campground laundromats. You cannot pay me to wash or dry my clothes in a campground laundromat. When I first started the channel, I shared with you guys my horrific experience of using a campground laundromat, and I have not used one since that and that was over four years ago for those of you that have not heard that story let me tell you about four years ago when i had my first rv i was staying at a brand new campground the laundromat was new and it was super clean i loaded up my clothes and my nightmare began when i pulled them out of the washer they were covered in animal hair <laughs> I thought I had pulled out a dead cat or a rabbit. I had so much hair on my clothes that it grossed me out. Thinking about it now makes me cringe. It's been over four years and I haven't used the campground laundromat since then. I wanted to purchase a wash and dryer at that time. I didn't have the space in my motorhome. As far as the laundromat goes, I look for those with 4.5 star ratings or higher and have a laundry attendant. In my experience, those have been the cleanest laundromats. Someone is constantly wiping out the dryers, removing lint from the lint tray, and wiping down the folding table. I like those kind of laundromats, but I can't always find them and when I can I don't wash or I use my cute little pink washing machine to wash my clothes yes guys I've been having a washing machine in this van for a year and a half because this video is sponsored I won't show it to you but I'll wait for another video and show you how I wash and dry in the van when I can't find a clean laundromat to use thank you again Morris for sending out this dryer I've enjoyed using it the dryer is so easy to use out of the box it's ready to go Plug it in, select one of the seven preset settings, and sit back and relax as your clothes are dried or sanitized. I mentioned in a few videos that I am camp in temperate weather this summer. Temps barely peaking 65 degrees during the day and dropping down to the 50s at night, which has been perfect for a person who doesn't like summer. Heat. But when temperatures are that cool and you're camped under a canopy of trees, nothing ever dries in the van and that's where the nightmare starts which can lead to moisture and mold problems and RVers worst nightmare in my sticks and bricks home it was termites in the van is mold and the dryer has come in handy with drying my towels daily so let me show you how it works for demonstration purposes I have it on the counter before I add my towels to the dryer, I make sure that I wring out my washcloth that is not dripping wet. I toss it in along with my um, bath towel. See, I plug it in. There's seven different presets on here. I use the smart preset and I will show you guys once I put it on the floor. All right, so I just want to show you guys how it works. I am going to take it down off of the counter because you won't be able to see the settings and I want to show you that. I never dry it on the counter. It fits perfectly underneath my bed, which I love that. It is portable, compact. The only thing that I wanted to mention, I wish it have a handle on top of here to make it easier for me to pick up and move it since I do have to move it underneath my bed. Underneath my bed. Other than that, it is perfect. It doesn't take up much space. I have to lift it like so to put it down. And I don't have a lot of space in this area. Um, it's kind of, it can be a little challenging. But other than that, I think it works great. The seven different settings. We have smart. It automatically estimates the drying time by detecting the moisture in your clothes. Quick has a 15 minute default setting. That's the one I enjoy using for my bath towels. Shirt help to reduce wrinkles in your clothes. Silk 
heat sensitive delicates warm if you want to warm your blankets or fuzzy slippers on those cold winter nights then you'd want to use that setting refresh helps to reduce odor in clothes not recommended for drying shoe self-explanatory it dries your shoes and the last setting is sanitize not only does this dryer dries your clothes it also sanitizes killing 99 percent of bacteria and mites So you see on the display screen that it says in because the dryer is, is completed it's 15 minutes it still spins to keep your clothes from getting wrinkled let me take the clothes out with nosy kitty here look at her nosy kitty hi nosy kitty hi nosy kitty ah, drop my towel drop my towel again so they are nice and fluffy and everything is completely dry it's telling me to close the door and then my washcloth is nice and dry and that's the little indicator on top that says close the door Let's see what nosy kitty's gonna do hey nosy kitty And it has a nice, quiet, soft close. She's more interested in my tripod. But once I'm done, I'll just power it off. Remove the power cord. And this is what the power cord looks like. And then I slide it underneath my bed. And this is where I wish I had the handle to get it easy to make it easier to get under the bed. So just push it under the bed like so. On average, I shower twice a day. So having damp towels around the van is a thing of the past. Now that I have this small portable compact dryer that fits perfectly underneath my bed. Whenever I take my towels out of the dryer, they are so fluffy. I'm glad that I do not have to hang my towels on the stern wheel or for my sun visor. It is so tacky and embarrassing when people walk by and I have all of my towels hanging from my sun visor. Those days are over. Not only does this dryer dry your clothes, it also sanitizes your clothes and it kills 99% of bacteria. I shared with you guys before, I am a germaphobe. I do not like touching doorknobs. So when I'm out, I use my jacket to open up the doors. I know I shouldn't do that, but I use my jacket sleeve to open up the door. So when I get back to the van, I wash that sleeve, throw it in the dryer on sanitize, let it sanitize. That setting is for sanitizing and not drying. So I do dry it for about five minutes and my jacket is sanitized, dry, and ready for the next door. Life as a germaphobe, the things that we do. <laughs> I share with you guys in another video what I do to keep moisture down in the van and to keep mold out. This is a sponsored video, so I don't want to share any products in this video. So I have to share with you in another video. And I did get some mold in my van. I accidentally left one of the windows cracked, one of the front windows cracked. It rained in the van and I got some mold in my door. It's no fun, but I got rid of it. Here's a clip of a half a load of laundry that I did this week after filming the video. I didn't have anything to show you other than the towels because I had just washed before receiving the dryer. For this load, I'm going to use the smart feature. It determines the drying time based on the moisture that's in your clothes. estimated that it's going to take 25 minutes for my clothes to dry.
nosy. Get out of that drawer. Move it. I want to show you there is a water tray at the bottom that collects. Can you guys see that? There we go. It collects the water from your clothes. And I did have a few pieces that was um, a, a little too wet. So yeah, collects the water. So that's that at the bottom. And you can use that to lift up the dryer. Like you can grip it here and on the backs of my arms are short. So it's a little challenging for me. Then I wanted to show you this. This is the shoe rack um, that I talked about in the video. So in order for this to fit in um, to be used, you have to take out the lint screen. So this is the lint screen. So you remove that. And as you can see, there's a little bit of lint on there that I will clean off before I dry another load. The cats keep moving my tripod. Stop it. So you put the rack in like so. It sits on the back. That's how the shoe rack works. And so you can put your shoes here and then you would hit the shoe preset to draw your shoes. They thought of everything. I'm not going to show you guys me folding the clothes. I've already done a video on how I fold my clothes. But as you can see, everything is nice and dry. My towels are really fluffy. My t-shirts and nightgowns, no wrinkles. So yeah, I'm going to fold up my clothes and put those away. Before I wrap up the video, I wanted to mention one thing. Because I have to move the dryer from underneath my bed to use it, I wish it had a fold down handle on top to make it easier for me to move it. What I do is just kind of pick it up like a baby <laughs> it's like sides. Was when it's tucked underneath the bed, it can be a little challenging for me to get down in that position to pull it out. I wanted to mention that you're using it in your sticks and bricks home, or if you're using it in your larger RV, you may not have to store it underneath the bed because I am limited on space. I do have to store it underneath my bed, and it can be a little challenging getting under there to pull it out. It is lightweight, so thank goodness for that. That's it for today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate your support. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.